Hey, ¿Qué tal amigos? Mi nombre es Jorge Rojas, bienvenidos a Armapedia. El día de hoy tengo una persona muy interesante que presentarles. La checa rusa que está a mi lado es nada más ni nada menos que María Kushina, una de las mejores tiradoras no solamente de Rusia, sino de todo el planeta. Thank you very much for making this video possible. Surely there are a lot of people that in this time doesn't know you, but for them, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Maria Gushina. I'm three times IPC world champion and European champion, and also I'm 10 times uh, Russian national champion. I shoot for uh, 14 years and it's my uh, hobby and profession. I do classes for shooters and I love the sport. So today I will introduce it to you and you'll learn more about it. Básicamente, María ha sido campeona tres veces del mundo en IPSC, tres veces campeona en Europa, diez veces campeona en Rusia y ha obtenido múltiples medallas de plata y de bronce en varias competiciones donde realmente han estado los mejores tiradores de todo el planeta, incluyéndolo a ella. María, my first question would be, what's the difference? between IPSC and sports shooting. If we are speaking about shooting in overall, mm -hmm. there are lots of different uh, kind of shooting. For example, you can shoot uh, a trap where you use a shotgun and where the um, targets are placed, which are flying, and you have to shoot them. So this is an Olympic sport. Also, there is another kind of shooting where um, they use handguns, but they have no very small like caliber. Mm -hmm. So there, there is no recoil and so on. IPSC is totally different thing, it's uh, something new and unusual. The result comes not only from your points, but also depends on your time. So the winner is uh, the guy who shoot faster and will be more precise. So it's very difficult in IPSC to find the balance of shooting fast and your points. Like uh, you can see, and we will try today, <laughs> lots of shooters, some of them are shooting too fast, but they cannot shoot the targets. I mean, when you go, there is nothing. And That's some true. shooters, for example, they shoot too slow, and of course, everything is exactly in one place. That's why every shooter, step by step, find their own speed on different uh, distances mm -hmm. because IPC is not only shooting at 25 meters to one target. There are lots of different targets which can be movers, uh, some poppers, metallic poppers, mm -hmm. uh, paper targets, no shoot, uh, in mm -hmm. which if you shoot there are some like extra points which you lose and also the distances. For a pistol it's from 3 meters till 50 meters. 50 meters. Every time you go to the um, competition it uh, contains from few exercises. For example, if we take World Shoot, World Championship, it's uh, 30 exercises and uh, they are all unique. And uh, for results, uh, we use uh, like our points, which in total, uh, at, the, at the stage, you divide by your time and okay. you receive a hit factor. Mm -hmm. It's like a special name. And who has highest hit, hit factor, mm -hmm. there is a winner at, the, okay. at this Stage. Pues ya vieron, o sea, lo complejo, increíble que es este deporte, el IPSC, que ha crecido bastante en Latinoamérica, muchos de ellos suscriptores del canal, un saludo a todos ustedes. En países como Estados Unidos y como en Rusia, ya es un deporte bastante conocido, bastante grande, y en Latinoamérica también tenemos muy buenos tiradores. How did you get started in this activity? You know, uh, in Russia we have like difficult laws for mm -hmm. the guns, so usually when I started, it was 14 years ago, it was not common for people to shoot and uh, for me I was lucky because uh, my dad was shooting and uh, he competed in some competitions and foreign competitions in Russia okay. and uh, he won even Russian national champion oh, really? <laughs> in handgun yes awesome. so it was his passion it was summer I was a small girl I was 11 years old and he was training at the shooting range it, it was not far from our house and I had nothing to do because summer <laughs> and so on 
So he just took me to the range with mm. himself. So I took a timer. It takes the one your, that beeps. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, which takes your time. So I was running with this timer. I was patching some targets. So I just helped him at the shooting range. So I made his uh, training faster and easier. And uh, once he just asked me like, why don't you want to try? Let's try it, why not? Maybe you'll like it. I took a gun, I tried, and I did really not bad for the first time. So he was telling me like, let's try like once a week you'll go with me and we will train together like you will not patch anymore or go with timer so this is how i started just because of my dad I, I have a question like do you think you're a really good shooter at the beginning because you look your dad like training like if we are speaking about good shooter mm -hmm. it's not like i was born it's um, a combination of mm -hmm. uh, different things for example that in some sport you'll be good but some sport is not good for you same for me i understand that i was a little bit born mm -hmm. with this mm -hmm. talent maybe yeah. <laughs> but still it's a lot of work mental work mm -hmm how your parents even raised you. But the most important thing uh, in our sport, unfortunately, it's your time and money. Because our sport uh, in Russia, exactly, mm -hmm. it's uh, quite expensive because of the um, price on the ammunition. Also, oh. if you want to do good results, you have to have a good coach. So oh, it's still some yeah. expenses. Maria, you were world champion in Greece, France, and the, in the US. So what was the most difficult in a competition of that level? I think the most difficult things at this level is uh, your mental preparation. There is a world championship and everyone are preparing and they want to win, everyone. Mm -hmm. And they are so nervous and you feel the energy that everything is so under pressure. Mm -hmm. But if we take the same competition, for example, I don't know, Texas, competition level one and everyone would be so relaxed so it's like a small tiny match and everyone will be more um, will feel more comfortable and they will do better results i want to know which was your best like match or competition you know my best competition like the result yes and my own thoughts it was a world championship in france it was in, in 2017 it was a very difficult match i was so nervous it, it longs uh, five days Oh. Yeah, so it's quite long and uh, for the first day I was so nervous, I shot so bad and then I found that way how to shoot, I mean mentally, and I did so good. <laughs> I don't know how I did. For us, the winner has 100%. It's the maximum um, percentage mm -hmm. which you can receive. I took sixth place mm -hmm. and I was 98%. 98. Nah, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Really, That's like, like almost perfect. Yes, it was almost like almost the winner. Mm -hmm. And for example, if you compare the next woman, she has a 18% mm -hmm. difference. It's really, a lot. Of it's a lot. I think it's like mm -hmm. 200 people between us. And I know that you have competed not only with women, also with men. When I told you that I was sixth, it means that I was sixth in overall between men. The, of course, between women, I was first. Como pudieron escuchar, María también destroza a hombres y mujeres por igual en las competiciones de IPSC. Eso es bastante increíble porque uno podría pensar, oh, bueno, solo compite con mujeres, pero no realmente. O sea, también ha vencido a muchos de los mejores tiradores del planeta. Y eso es algo que me dijeron muchas personas que la conocen personalmente, que es algo que les impresionó desde la primera vez que la vieron, que le ganaba tanto a mujeres como a hombres de una manera completamente insana, o sea, por espacios de tiempo y precisión muy grandes. What's your next competition? What are your future goals in IPSC? Of course, I want to shoot uh, as good as possible at the World Championship, mm -hmm. which will be next year in, in Thailand. And of course, I want to win. I in hope any... you win. <laughs> I hope to. Okay, I have my fans. <laughs> yes, you have. I'll know that you. <laughs> so, ahora María me va a dar unas clases de IPSC. Lo cual se me hace muy curioso, porque ustedes lo saben, es la primera vez que voy a disparar en esta modalidad de tiro. Eh, nunca lo he hecho, como les he dicho en varias ocasiones, yo conozco a varios tiradores, veo IPSC, conozco a muchas personas que lo practican, pero realmente yo nunca lo he hecho. Entonces es mi primera clase en esta modalidad y me parece muy interesante que María sea la primera que me enseñe. Es como si Michael Phelps te diera tu primera clase de natación, como si el Canelo Álvarez te diera tu primera clase de boxeo o como si, no sé, Leonel Messi o Cristiano Ronaldo te dieran tu primer entrenamiento en fútbol. Vamos a la acción. Ending. <laughs> 
<laughs> the first most important th thing before you take the gun and you shoot, you have to know about safety. First of all, look at the range. We shoot only to the, um, to the target. You can't turn your gun to directions like that. So your barrel always look in that direction. Okay. Anywhere we go, it looks there. Doesn't no matter. So there. for you the same, yes. Choose any gun you like. Here you have CZ, Glock and Tanfoglio. For the explanation, mm -hmm. choose any you like. Okay. Me, me dice María que escoja entre estas tres armas. Tenemos una CZ, una Glock y una Tanfoglio. He disparado la Glock, entonces creo que esa la descartaría porque ya sé más o menos cómo funciona. Vamos a probar cosas nuevas. En ese caso, no sé. Se ve muy deportiva la CZ, entonces creo que me voy a ir por esta. Sí, sí, ahí está. Sí, sí. Oh, that's good choice. <laughs> Poder checo. This is the main thing. Then, but you have a perfect. <laughs> que, ellos saben que he disparado antes, ¿verdad? Basically, yes, your, your gun. The most important thing is about your left hand. Because uh, when you hold the gun, 40% of your power goes to right hand. Most per percentage of your power goes to the left one. So look, you have a, a big finger here. We take our left hand and we put like two fingers together. They have to make uh, the way of your uh, how your barrel mm -hmm. looks. Yes, here is good. Yes, nice. Amazing, this. yes. Everything is good. Like a perfect student, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> and about trigger, look, uh, trigger has uh, two ways uh, of its pull. This part you have to pull like fast without any pressure, but fast. Then there is some step, you feel it. You can sh pull it, but with pressure. Your finger has to be very smooth. It has to work like little, little, little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a big difference between this and between this, of course. like yeah. huge difference. In este momento, voy a aplicar absolutamente todo lo que María me ha dicho, eh, la posición de cómo pararte, cómo hacer el grip del arma, eh, cómo disparar. Va a ser solo un tiro. Vamos a aplicar todo. Recuerden que la seguridad es primero, entonces tenemos que proteger nuestros ojos y oídos. Ella también los está usando. Entonces veamos qué tal nos va en este primer tiro. Mm -hmm. And think about this, your trigger. On the camera you'll see it, like after first shot, the finger immediately goes like mm -hmm. Don't be afraid, like your gun is at the target. In any case, it, the bullet will go there. So don't be afraid to, to stay the finger inside. You see the target, pull one time and then again. Don't push away your finger. This is amazing, this is good. Me lo está diciendo la mejor tiradora del mundo. This was good. Think about finger, that it doesn't go away. poppers yes like far away the white ones yeah uh, this target is a little bit more difficult because it's just far mm -hmm. so shoot step by step okay if something will go wrong I'll tell you but the most important thing think just about how smoothly you work with your trigger and the salt choose any gun you want for this <laughs> exercise let's go with glock okay Make. and then the second one yes one by one Good trigger work, it's okay. This one was quite uh, like, you know, we did it hard. Oh. Like slowly, slowly pull it. Without big pressure. Slowly, slowly. This was good, again slowly. And slowly. Don't wait for the... Uh, what was the mistake right now? That you push, you take the, the trigger like this and then you just sharply do like that. Your sides were shaking, everything was shaking. Can't uh, hit the target. Okay. Try to do it. You did it till the step. And then don't wait for the shot. And just pull slowly, slowly, you see? Okay. Just don't do like this. Just 
slowly, slowly, slowly. And slowly pull, don't wait for the shot. Slowly, 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 slowly. Pull, pull. This was good. hacer una transición que son dos tiros ahí, dos tiros ahí y un tiro a los blancos que están en el fondo. ¿va? Lo va a hacer con una, este pequeño aparato que es el que utiliza para stand by y para empezar. Stand by. Slowly. Your time is 6.08. Everything is good. Do the same. Stand by. Yes, good. Your time is amazing. 4.38. It was much faster. As I told you, try to be in a balance. Right now, don't try to shoot too fast. Okay. Let's do one more time. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Bueno, María me puso otra transición bastante interesante con un poco de movimiento. Van a ser dos tiros ahí, dos tiros ahí. Moverme hacia donde está la cámara y disparar a los tres blancos que tenemos al fondo. Ya verán cómo es el ejercicio, pero a ver qué tal me va. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Think about finger. Slowly. Movement. Yes. Slowly, slowly pull. Yeah. And one. Yeah. Yeah, more practice, but you'll be good uh, IPC shooter. Great. Yes, you can shoot for uh, Mexico. Represent your Mexico. country Mexico. <laughs> at the World Championship, you know? That would be cool. Stand by. more precise and you did very well the movement and uh, like your finger work at the poppers because mm -hmm. there were four very difficult poppers far and you did in a good speed and with good finger work so it was oh, awesome. it was really good <laughs> okay maria ahora me dio una transición mucho más larga no complicada mucho más larga simplemente se debe recordar un poco más en la mente voy a practicarlo un poco con mi mente y ustedes la van a ir viendo y luego la vamos a ver en vivo con fuego real Pa. Yes. Pa, pa, pa. Movement, yes. Pa. Pa. That's why we say about briefing mm -hmm. that you have to remember. That's okay. Stand by. One more. Well, it was okay. You 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 hit it. With the popper, the it popper. didn't fall. Yes, yeah, but wow. hit it from the first time, so it's okay. Well, si es muy rápido esto, eh, tiene su grado de complicación y de mucha práctica. Stand by. Slowly pull the trigger. Don't run. Mm -hmm. And slow. 
you have to start IPC in Mexico. I'm I think you were born for this. One. There are many good shooters in Mexico actually of IPSC. I have not gone with them to practice, so maybe it's a good time to do it. It's right? a good time to do it, really. It's a good start. <laughs> saludos, saludos a todos ellos. <laughs> Hello guys, I wish you good luck, shoot all alphas and believe in yourself. All your goals could become true. Just everything depends on your hard work and uh, your belief in yourself. Le enseñé una frase a María en español y se las va a decir. Vivo en México y Rusia, cabrones. <laughs> y amigos, hemos llegado al final. María, thank you very much for this opportunity. I had a great time and I can already say that I took shooting training with one of the best shooters in the world. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You are an amazing shooter. Thanks. I really tell you that you have to try to start. Start you, Yes. Uh, you'll do well, for sure. So I hope, I wish to see you at some match in the world. Yeah, in the world. Maybe in Mexico next yeah, time. Yeah, of course. So we'll shoot in one squad. You're next. welcome in Mexico. Thank you. Whenever you want. Thank you. Entonces, amigos, si quieren seguir a María, uh, pueden seguirla en sus redes sociales. Tiene Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. En Instagram la pueden encontrar como se ve en pantalla, María-IPSC. En Facebook pueden encontrarla como María Gushina, tal cual lo están viendo, eh, IPSC Shooting. Y en su canal de YouTube, igual como María Gushina, como lo están viendo en pantalla. No olvides suscribirte y activar esa poderosa campana de notificaciones para no perderte ningún video nuevo. Mi nombre es Jorge Rojas, ella es María Gushina y te deseamos. Un excelente día. Yes. Bye. Let's do one more time. Okay. okay? Wait, toma mi foto a mí también. <laughs> Afraid? Uh, no, this is badass. <laughs> Vivo en México y Rusia. Cabrón. Cab Cabrón. Cabrones. 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 Yes, perfect. That's for me. The diver. Hello. <laughs> Hello. No worry, the just falls. Yo quiero ver eso. Que te cuelgas. No. Sería un honor que ella destruyera. Dile. He said it would be an honor if you actually had shot it. <laughs> <laughs> if you had destroyed it, it would be an honor. Este material se queda para la historia. Para que tú lo veas, no. Se queda para la historia. Escuchen mis palabras. Claro que sí.